Okay, let's solve this differential equation. Uh, first of all, this is a linear first order differential equation. Hopefully you can see that by now. So that means that we have to put it in this form. Uh, that is y prime plus p of t times y is equal to g of t. All right, so what we have to do first is we have to isolate this y prime. So we can divide everything in this equation by t. So we'll get y prime plus 2 over t y is equal to t squared over t. That's just t minus 1 plus 1 over t, right? We just divided everything by t. So now we have it in the proper form, and we want to find out what p of t is. We can go back to blue, I guess. So we have, um, right here we have our p of t, right? It's whatever is multiplied by y. So we can just write that down. p of t is equal to 2 over t. Okay, and so we know that our mu of t, this is going to be our integrating factor, this is going to be equal to e to the power of the integral of p of t dt, right? This is just how we find our integrating factor for these types of problems. But we do know what p of t is, so we can say that uh, mu of t is also equal to e to the integral of 2 over t, that's a t dt. Okay, so then we can continue this on. e is equal to, well, the integral of 2 over t is going to be 2 ln of t. Okay, uh, and this becomes, well, we can also rewrite this according to log rules. We'd have e to the ln of t all squared. Uh, and then we can say, well, e to the ln of whatever is just whatever, and that's going to be that whatever we have is t. It's kind of an unofficial way to say that. So we can say that this is all equal to t squared. Cool. So let's write this here. We have, um, let's try writing that again. Mu of t is our integrating factor is equal to t squared. And also we'll just write here for our reference, mu prime of t is equal to 2t. Okay, so we can go back and plug this into our equation now. So what we want to do is we want to multiply everything, every term in our equation, or we want to multiply both sides by our integrating factor, mu of t, and mu of t is equal to t squared. So we can write it like this. We have t squared times y prime plus t squared times 2 over t y. Uh, and now t squared times t is t cubed. Then we have minus t squared plus t, right? t squared over t. Now, let's look at this. Um, we can also write this. Uh, well, this would simplify t squared over t times 2. This term here uh, becomes 2t times y. Okay, so now I hope you guys can see this. Uh, what we have here is we have mu, which is t squared. We have mu times y prime. And mu prime is 2t right here. So then we have plus mu prime times y. Now this is quite obviously the, this is the result of a product rule. So another way we can write this is just by saying um, mu y, the derivative of mu times y, right? If we took the derivative of mu times y, we've, by the product rule we would get this. So we can rewrite the left hand side of the equation as mu times y all primed, take the derivative of the whole side, is equal to, well this was t cubed minus t squared plus t. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're still trying to isolate for y, so we can take the integral of both sides, uh, dt, like this, and we'll put that all in brackets, dt. Um, and also notice we were, uh, we were ignoring the integration constant up here. Um, that's because from the previous videos we found that the integration constants are all gonna end up in one place. So you'll see that in the next step. Okay, so we take the integral of a derivative, and so we just remove both signs. So we get mu y is equal to, well, we'll do this term by term. So we'll get 1 fourth t to the power of 4 minus 1 third t cubed plus 1 half t squared. And now I suppose we can put in this integration constant because we know it's going to end up in this place. And again, if you're if you don't know why, just watch the previous videos, um, and it's pretty it's, it's explained pretty clearly. So, anyways, then what we can do is we can actually just divide both sides by mu. Uh, and mu was 
well, it was t squared, I suppose. Maybe that's a better way to write it. So we'll just erase that. Okay, hopefully that didn't make, hopefully that didn't confuse you. What we did is mu is actually, um, is the same thing as t squared, right? That's up here. So now what we can do is we'll just simplify this a little bit and we'll say that y is equal to one fourth times t squared minus one third uh, t cubed over t squared is just t plus one half t squared divided by t. Actually, the t's disappear now. And this will be plus c over t squared. All right, so there we go. That is the, the general solution to the, our initial uh, differential equation that we were looking at up here. And it looks like we still have a little bit of time, so I'm going to show you a shortcut to find the answer, to find the general solution for problems that have this form. Uh, we talked about in the method, in the video that describes the method for the integrating factor of linear first order differential equations, we said the solution has the general form, the general solution has the form of this. Is y is equal to the integral of mu of t times g of t, uh, like this, times g of t dt uh, plus c is all over uh, mu of t. All right, and we know, because we'll be given, once we are able to uh, rearrange it into this form, uh, we'll be able to find out what mu of t, exactly what we did. And so we know that mu of t is equal to e, like we said, to the integral of pt dt. Okay, so the shortcut here is if you're able to find what mu of t is, uh, well then we will know what mu of t is, we'll know what g of t is, so we can take the, the integral of their product uh, and then just add the c and then divide everything by mu of t and then long story short, uh, we'll skip some of these rearranging steps and worrying about you know checking if it's the product rule, although this is a really good check. Um, if you're just cramped on time uh, and you're really comfortable and you know that you have the integrating factor correct, uh, then you can just skip right ahead to here and then simplify. And you can check and you'd actually get the same answer. So it's good to go through all of it, but you know if you're on a test and you're cramped for time, this, this method here in red might help you out. Okay, see you guys in the next video.